by the time you know that the pain receptors are free nerve ending from there the pain signal reaches the spinal cord and then ascends upward in lateral funiculus as ascending pain pathway it is called lateral spinothalamic tract so the pain pathway is situated in the lateral spinothalamic tract remember the pain pathway is situated in lateral spinothalamic tract the two types of pathway that is the neospinothalamic pathway formed by the a delta fiber and paleospinothalamic pathway formed by the c fibers are present in this lateral spinothalamic tract just coming to the neospinothalamic pathway neospinothalamic tract starts from the receptor free nerve ending and from there a delta nerve fiber that is the first order neuron reaches the posterior horn of spinal cord now the cell body of this first order neuron is present in the dorsal root ganglion now it reaches the posterior horn then it goes the rex lamina 1 and 5 now before ending in the rex lamina 1 and 5 it may go upward or downward a few segment and forms the tract of lissauer so the first order neuron ends in rex lamina 1 and 5 now from there the second order neuron starts and the second order neuron crosses to the opposite side in front of the central canal and reaches to the lateral funiculus and from the lateral funiculus the neuron ascends or goes upward as lateral spinothalamic tract and you may find that it is called sometimes the anterolateral spinothalamic tract or ventrolateral spinothalamic tract and it goes upward and upward and then it ends in ventral posterolateral nucleus or called vpl nucleus of thalamus and from there the third order neuron starts